Hi out there. I have another Kenwood TS850 uh, here on uh, the bench and uh, you may remember my uh, video number 75. We uh, had a local board in the TS850 which uh, really badly leaking capacitors. So now uh, the owner here is uh, really scared that uh, his radio has uh, a similar problem and uh, so it is in for checking the local board and uh, some other uh, portions of uh, the unit where we know um, that they are as well uh, bad uh, capacitors and uh, that is uh, what we want to gonna do and uh, yeah let's see what uh, we find and uh, we may uh, collect some additional experience on electrolytic capacitor because as we already know this electrolytic capacitors are really funny flowers. Okay, so let's see what we have. Hey, and uh, look onto this uh, radio. It uh, really looks uh, almost new, uh, just out of production. So that uh, is uh, unbelievable considering that uh, these units are, uh, let me guess, uh, 20 plus years old and uh, there is no scratch here uh, on the housing nothing it is it is really looking brand new ah fantastic okay and uh, if you've seen my video number uh, 75 you know that uh, the local uh, board is here under uh, this uh, shielding and uh, well uh, basically it is not uh, very difficult uh, to take the radio apart and uh, for the local board we only need uh, to undo the screws here and uh, then we are in and we can check uh, what the capacitors are okay so the screws are out and uh, now we can have our first uh, look together so we need uh, to lift it uh, up and yeah we are in and at the first glance it looks pretty nice so there are no marks on the board so let me see uh, so we have here our capacitors uh, where um, which we find uh, very much leaking in the other uh, TS850 and uh, we found in uh, the other uh, TS850 that this capacitor was already replaced uh, by a different uh, type um, but here uh, we can say it uh, really looks quite nice. So it seems that uh, everything is uh, just fine. So really no marks uh, that uh, we have uh, leaking capacitors. So that uh, is definitely a very good finding. All right, so that means um, as uh, we cannot find a capacitor which uh, is leaking, so we ca could conclude, all right, let's um, reinstall uh, it and uh, everything is fine and uh, give it back. But you know this is this radio is as uh, we already uh, found out 20 years plus old and we know that uh, this SMD uh, electrolytic capacitors are uh, more or less first production so these uh, capacitor uh, types are not uh, 
that uh, long before this radio came on the market. This uh, capacitor was not so long before on the market as well. So uh, that means it is a kind of uh, first production. So therefore it is uh, clear that uh, these capacitors are really, mm, you never know. Therefore, what we're going to do right now is we want to check the ESR because the ESR is a parameter which uh, can tell, tell us a little bit on the health of, ele uh, of an electrolytic capacitor and the good um, well, the good news is that we do not need uh, to take the capacitors out because we can check the ESR in circuit and that is really good news and that is what we want to do right now because that will indicate um, if we have a problem with these capacitors or not. So let's simply start probing around. So I start here with the first capacitor and let's see that I get a contact down here. And okay, so the first capacitor 3.3 .3 ohm. Okay, so let's go to the next and what do we have here? Let's see. Uh, it's not the best position which I have here. Okay, so that is uh, 4.8. The next one is 4.4. The next one is 4.4. The next one is also 4.4. And then we go ahead here on the left and that one is 4.5. The next one is 4.5 and this one here is 4.5. Okay, so uh, we have values uh, around Ah, 4.5 ohm and uh, hmm so huh, what does it mean I mean yeah okay we know it is 4.5 ohm but uh, we need uh, a value where we can uh, test the capac capacitor against and uh, because otherwise we are not able to um, uh, justify do we have uh, to take it out or is it uh, just fine well and some of you will uh, certainly already say hey there are tables on the market just uh, have a look and all right here we have a table and uh, we have a 10 um, microfarad capacitor which uh, is here and uh, it is a 16 volt type and what do we read here 16 ohms oops so what does that mean is this capacitor or are these capacitors just fine uh, so that is really a little bit odd so let's see if we have a different table and uh, of course we have and here we see, okay, 10 microfarad and uh, 16 uh, volt means 8 would be good. So that means, hey, great, everything seems to be fine. Hmm, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, see 
what we find else. Well, and uh, while I'm probing around here, I uh, found here another um, electrolytic uh, capacitor, uh, 10 microfarad and 16 volt, and uh, you clearly see, yeah, you can see it here, uh, it is 1.7 ohm. And uh, uh, that is now really a little bit odd. So, um, I mean, we have seen all the other capacitors are around uh, 4.5 ohm. And now we have a capacitor and it is 1.7 ohm. And uh, I mean, all are 16 volt and uh, 10 microfarad. And, uh, well, this one is only 1.7. So, I believe something uh, might be wrong here with uh, my 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 table I mean 8 uh, ohm so and now I find uh, a capacitor which is 1.7 so something really must be wrong so oh, what what, what uh, can we conclude right now so cool okay let let me try to find out what what's going on I I have here my uh, normal through hole uh, 10 microfarad capacitor so let me uh, simply check some here of uh, those here and let's see what we find and uh, yeah have a look 0 0.9 okay so let's take uh, a complete uh, different uh, type maybe uh, this one here and uh, we have uh, two point ah, come on um, one point three so okay that's me but it was one point three and I have here really a very old uh, 10 microfarad capacitor so let me check this one here and uh, this is uh, it's a little bit difficult here so this is 1.9 1 1.99 uh, ohm and um, yeah let me take a bigger one I mean as high as the voltage as uh, lower the resistor so that is for sure but anyways let me check this. So this is 1.6. So that means um, uh, something must be... Uh, well, let me see what is this here. So this is as well 10, uh, 10 uh, microfarad and is 0 0.7. So you see this table here this table here seems to be not uh, really uh, helpful. I mean, this one here is uh, even better than uh, this one. So uh, this table here is uh, really uh, a joke. Um, I mean, something is wrong and uh, we really need to have uh, a clear uh, value that uh, we can decide are these capacitors good or bad? Well, and the best what we ever can do is let's take a manufacturer's. Um, so this is Panasonic. So let's uh, take this uh, table and uh, let's see what we find there. And exactly here on this table here we find uh, impedance values um, tested with 100 kilohertz and uh, at uh, 20 degree centigrade so I have 21 degree here in my lab and uh, we find uh, here uh, our 16 volt types and uh, 16 volt and here 10 uh, microfarad and uh, when I go over here to the um, impedance uh, to the impedance column we find 
that this capacitor should have maximum 3 ohm. And that is now really a value which uh, is helpful because you know all the tables which are available um, in, um, on the internet are maybe an indication but you know you uh, must um, you must decide um, if you need uh, to uh, change the uh, capacitors or not I mean this here is uh, only preventive maintenance so you can uh, definitely say all have to go but especially when you are working on a fault so when you are troubleshooting a radio then uh, you need um, a reliable value and you only find reliable values here in these tables all the other tables which are available are only indications and you find as we already said here the value should not be higher than 3 ohm and uh, we have seen here uh, down in uh, our circuit that uh, all these capacitors here were above 3 ohm and I mean this here this circuit or this radio is 20 plus years old and uh, now what would you do I mean we know this capacitors are all out of tolerance except this one here which we uh, tested with uh, 1.7 ohm uh, but all the other uh, capacitors are out of tolerance and again 20 years old we know that uh, these types like to leak and uh, yeah what would you do yeah I can tell you what I would do and what I will do what I'm going to do these capacitors have to go so that is really the best decision you can ever do because these capacitors are definitely working in the moment but these capacitors here which we measured uh, with uh, 4.5 ohm or so are out of tolerance and that means these capacitors are aging and it is only a question of time when they start leaking so therefore they have to go and that is what uh, I'm gonna do right now I take them out and uh, I put new low ESR types in and then we can be sure that uh, everything is fine okay and you may wonder what's the resistance of a brand new SMD capacitor of 10 microfarad is so uh, I have here my uh, capacitors and uh, this here are the 10 uh, microfarad ones so let us uh, check uh, a brand new one just to compare um, what we have uh, inside the radio and uh, what a new one is like okay so let's one take out I mean we need it uh, anyways and uh, yeah let me see if we can bring it uh, together somehow here okay so let's see what we have whoops uh, Yeah, and it is uh, 0 0.9 ohm, so less than 1 ohm. So these are the uh, good uh, Panasonic low years R types. And um, well, that uh, proves my theory that uh, these capacitors are out of tolerance. And uh, yeah, let them 
change and uh, then this radio will be fine again. And here is the board for itself, so I can now start my work. Okay, and uh, all the old capacitors are off, lying here around, and now we replace the new low ESR ones. All right, all the new capacitors are in, and uh, we can bring back all to normal, so that uh, radio can go back. All right, radio is back together, and uh, we find the radio receiving, as you may hear. That means finally that uh, our oscillator board is working, so everything is fine, and uh, the radio, ah, let me turn it down, and uh, the radio can go back to its owner. Okay, and as we found no leaking capacitors, the discussion turned very quickly into a ESR discussion. And I hope that uh, was uh, helpful for you uh, to have an idea how to troubleshoot uh, a radio with um, suspective uh, capacitors. And uh, well, we uh, found uh, that the tables. Uh, which are, hmm, yeah, you know, available on the internet are not more than an indication. But uh, to be sure what uh, value a capacitor needs to have, it is always good to uh, see the manufacturer's data sheets because then you have really reliable values. Okay. So, if this video made uh, any sense for you, please uh, give me a big thumb up and uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye!